Now let's focus on presentation views, the different types of views to help create and edit your slides. Earlier in the training videos we talked about the notes page or adding notes to your slides. In other words, not on the slide but below it. You see that little box below each slide when I click on a slide. I can click down here, that little box where it says click to add notes and type. That's related to the slide. So I can come up here to slide 2 and say this is going to be about website, maybe hand out promotional key change. In other words, these are notes for me. So during the slide presentation, when I hit this slide and I come to it, I'm explaining to the audience on our website. We have Office 2007 training videos. I read my notes here and I said, oh yeah, on this slide I need to hand out my promotional website keychains. So I can go ahead and hand them out and then go to the next slide and continue on. So these are notes for you. Okay. Now this is one place where you can type them in, but what if you want to view the slide and also the notes below them all at once? Well, to do that, you can come up here and click on the View tab and come over here in the presentation views group and right now I'm on the normal view but go ahead and click on the notes page all it does is it just shrinks it in it actually zooms out so I can see both the slide itself and the notes below and again the notes page are notes for the speaker to print and use during the speaker's presentation so how are they going to print out let's go ahead and take a look let me come up here and click on the office logo button come down to print and let's do print preview now print preview is what you see is what you get so this is where I see my print preview if I print it right now that's what I'm gonna get well what if I wanna go ahead and not print the slides but print also the note pages so I have my notes when I'm going through the slides my presentation well up here in the page setup group I can say what I wanna print not just the slides but let me do the note pages so there I go on slide one I don't have any notes I mean it shows me the slide so what I want to do is I want to click on the next page and there's my notes below that slide. So it prints it out not with color and just a quick outline of the slide with my notes below it. So when I'm giving my presentation in the dark there and I hopefully have a little flashlight I can see or enough ambient light that I can look down and say oh, okay we're on our website slide. Oh this is where I want to hand out my keychain. You see what my little circle there with the plus sign in it? When I click it zooms in. So I can get closer to the page and actually see it better. And I can click on it. You see where my mouse now has a minus sign. Click on it, zooms out. Click on it, zooms in. And I can go ahead and close that. And I'm out of it now of the print preview. You can also do it when you click on the office logo button and go down and click on print. You click and drag the screen up just a little bit by grabbing its header bar. And then say, what do I want to print? Well, I want to print the notes pages. Or I can just say, I just want to print the slides. We'll cover this a little bit later, but for right now, I'm going to click Cancel. And like I said, you can come to your presentation views to help navigate a little bit easier and add more to your notes. You can click in here in the text box and click at the end and continue on typing. Probably can't see that unless I go ahead and zoom in, but I'll click off in a blank area. And again, I can click and drag my zoom bar here. So this is helpful where I can actually see both the slide and also have some space below where I can type in my text. Okay, I'm going to go back to my normal view here. And again, it's in the uh, presentation views on the view tab. Hopefully that makes sense. I mean, you want to change your views, go to the view tab. So I'm going to go back to normal here. Now, if I want to move my slides around here, like let's say 3 is supposed to be before 2 and, and uh, 4 before you know 3 and so forth, you can cut and paste them and move them around, or you can just click and drag. First, let's do the cut and paste. I'm going to click and select 4, so 4 is outlined or highlighted. And then I can go ahead and cut that. Again, you can right-click and cut it and come up here and left-click on cut. It disappears. And then click on the slide, and let's say slide 1. And what it will do is if I click on the slide and I right-click, and I go down to paste it, it's going to paste it after the slide that I have currently selected. You can also click and drag and move it around. That might be easier. Just click on the slide, hold your left mouse button down, and then drag it. And you can see that little line right there. Now it's between 3 and 4. Let go. That looks good. Click and drag and drag it after 4. So I'm back to where I started. Finally, what we've all been waiting for is to actually view the slideshow. I mean, we're in this design here the whole time in the normal view. So to view the slideshow to see what it's actually going to look like when you turn it on and you show it to your audience, you'll come here to the view tab and in the presentation view, click on the slideshow button. And you see the shortcut key F5. Let me go ahead and click slideshow. There we go. It starts. Some of the slideshows are automated where they just go ahead and they keep going every five seconds and you just got to keep up with it. Sometimes you can actually click and it will advance from one slide to the next. We're going to cover this all soon. But to give you kind of a shortcut here, if I go ahead and click, it goes to the next slide, click again, it goes to the next. Now if I want to go back to slide one, you can go ahead and hit the one key on the keyboard and hit enter and it goes back to slide one. 
If I know slide 4 is the last slide and I want to jump right to it because it has my website, hit 4 on the keyboard and hit enter, it takes me right to slide 4. Pretty cool. Hey, I got tons of more of these shortcuts, so you want to continue watching these training videos. And then when I'm done, when I want to get out of the presentation, let's say I'm in the middle of it, you can hit escape on the keyboard, that will do it. Or you can just keep hitting the mouse button on the keyboard and then up at the top you'll see it says end of slideshow. Click it again and I'm done. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.